guys! It's Mint Model Horses. And today we're doing a Briar Pet Peeves video. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna keep it kind of lighthearted, kind of. We're gonna of, try to. <laughs> kind of uh, jab the knife into some people that do this. Um, but we're not picking on anyone in particular, like every Pet Peeves video says. Yeah. And just keep doing what you want to do because what bothers us doesn't bother other people and what bothers me doesn't bother her and what bothers her doesn't bother me. So it's, it's all good. And also it's just a hobby. Yeah. <laughs> and none of it should be taken too It shouldn't uh, be taken seriously, seriously at all. But, so, yeah. We have a little bit of a list, but yeah, yeah, we're but just going to kind of go as they come to us. Yeah. It's going <laughs> to be, be a little bit of a rant type thing, but like yeah. not, like we said, don't take it seriously. So the first one for me is when people have large congas, but they don't have their congas in a gradient. And if you don't know what that means, watch either of our collection tours because we both do this. Yeah. But it, it doesn't really, it's not like a pet peeve more, it's just kind of disappointing because to organize your congas by color makes them look so much bigger. Like if you lean down, you can see my splashes. So right here is Cobra, you probably can't even see him, but it gets lighter, like that's what we're talking about. Yeah, and like with her Roxy's up there, can you see them? Not really, no. You can see my flashes though. Well, if you go watch my Othellos, you'll yeah. see them on that. And um, it's just, it makes your shelves look more organized and cleaner, and it makes your congas look bigger. So it just, it's more disappointing when I see big congas that aren't color gradient. Because it, it could look so nice. Yeah, and um. then, then they just don't. <laughs> Another one is when Briar releases a new model or a new photo. And everyone reposts it. Yeah, everyone on Instagram posts it and it's like... We all follow Briar. There's we no all need. see it. Yeah. And I don't want to, like, I used to joke around with Emma whenever Briar would release a new picture. I was like, okay, I'm not going on Instagram for two days because yeah. that's all my feed is. And it's only on Instagram. I've only seen Facebook do it like once or twice. There's a few people that post them like all the time. But people on Facebook don't do it. It's literally only on Instagram. Yeah, and that it's I see so it. freaking annoying. It is and very it's, annoying. It's getting a little bit better, but it's still so bad. Yeah, maybe it's just because I unfollow the people that do it. <laughs> yeah. If you do it, just if you really feel the need like, to post it, like put it on your story. Put it on your story. Yeah. But also, I don't get it because I like to post things on Instagram for likes, and <laughs> you don't get likes if everyone yeah. is seeing the same picture. So. I just don't understand. Yeah, if if you see it early enough where no one else has seen it, go ahead and post it. But once 20 other people have posted it, don't. Don't post it. It's such a small community. We don't need to see the same thing 50 times in and one day. Also, I like seeing it from Briar before I see it from anyone else. I don't yeah. know. It's just like, if someone else has already posted it, then I read like what they think of it. I like the chance to be able to like have yeah. my own opinion about it first. Yeah. Oh, do you want to do the stone one? Oh yeah, okay. Um, we talked about this a little bit, I think, at some point. Um, but when people think that Peter stones are rare. I'm not saying that Peter stones aren't rare. I'm saying that they're not special because they're so limited. Yeah. They have a design a horse program where you can, can create an oak. You can make your own oak. For under, sometimes under a hundred dollars. When you make <laughs> everything special, nothing special. Yeah. Famous so, quote from some random lady at Briarfest 2015. <laughs> yeah. Um. It, it, Peter Stones are not special. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> um. Another one that gets both Emma and I is when people oh, yeah. touch their glossy models. If you watch our videos, you'll see we hold them by the tail. We never touch their bodies. Or if never. they have white legs, we'll hold them by their white legs. Or just like maybe even like this. Yeah. But I have not touched a glossy horse's body in a couple years. Well, since we found out, because my autumn shimmer is a good example. Do you want to yeah. grab her real quick so I can kind of... I don't even think you'll be able to tell because the light is so bright. Oh, maybe. Um, so when you touch your glossy models, you, it the de gloss is that yeah, gets you get dirty. fingerprints and it gets dirty. Can I touch? <laughs> yeah, because I mean, she's. But like, you can't really tell. But she is pretty much matte in person. You have a really glossy horse. So a oh, couple of years ago, we were trying to figure out why our glossy horses were becoming so matte. 
And it's because you... You touch them. You touch them. Like, look um, at the difference. These are both bays, and that is a huge... Yeah. My Gigi's also caked in dust right now because I don't touch her. Yeah. Um, so. If you want to touch your glossy models, get use jewelers. gloves. Yeah, get jewelers gloves. They're really cheap on Amazon. Don't you can buy a hold them by their 30. bodies. And if they are bay like this, try to avoid their legs unless you can hold it by their socks. But like their tails, you're not you're not gonna notice fingerprints on their tails. Yeah. But look how nice it looks <laughs> when you don't touch them. My, it's probably like my first or second biggest pet peeve um, is when people put long ears or stripes on a briar and call it a mule. <laughs> because you put long ears on something does not make it a mule. When you cro okay, if you look at a donkey versus a horse, a mule is a cross of a, cross of a donkey and a horse. Donkeys are so different. Anatomy wise, donkeys are so different th from horses. If you look at the the shoulder and the withers of a mule, it is so different from a horse. If you don't at least re-sculpt the withers and the shoulder. You don't have a mule. You have a horse with long ears. Same goes with the zebras. Zebras don't look anything like horses. They look like donkeys. You can't put stripes on a horse and call it a, a donkey or a zebra. Same with the quag, the quag, quag. It just doesn't work. You have to re-sculpt the horse more than just its ears or the color for it to be these exotic things. It just doesn't work that way. It's not how nature works. Sure, slap long ears on something and have it be like your own little fun custom. But if you're gonna try to show something and paint it to do well in the show ring, re-sculpt it and actually put time and effort and research into like what you're trying to make. Yeah. And that's... Okay. So to lighten the mood, another thing that ticks me off about this is when I re-download eBay after I'm like I'm gonna save up. <laughs> oh um, yeah, we told ourselves like two months ago that we wouldn't buy any more horses. But like, no, I'm gonna spend $60 on a horse just because like, it's a good price. Yeah. So. Is that our last one? That's the last one on this card. But I hope that everyone understands that yeah. we're not picking on anyone and like, these are just things that tick us off and obviously we love this hobby and those aren't reasons to stop with the hobby yeah but it's just like some things that like i wouldn't do personally yeah <laughs> ever in my life yeah so um so yeah just don't take any of this too seriously yeah if we don't want to see any rude um yeah this is our first like controversial comments. video yeah. so like no mean comments um yeah feel free to put your own pet peeves in the comments yeah. But don't leave any mean comments because we're all allowed to have our own opinion. If we collect plastic horses, like... Let's get along. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully yeah. I didn't annoy you. Hopefully Emma didn't annoy you. <laughs> um, hopefully uh, you didn't unsubscribe. Hopefully you do subscribe. That would be nice. Um, leave a like down below. And, and comment. Comment nice things or your own pet peeves. And video ideas. And video ideas. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.